Hey guys, Ricky Lock here, back once again. Um, hope everyone's having a great day as always, and uh, I want to thank you guys for sticking with me again through my absence. Um, still pretty busy around here. Uh, it's yeah, starting to cool down in the in the summer here, and we're uh, we're just trying to get the the rest of our summer. Um, we had a really hot summer this year. Um, not complaining. Uh, us Canadians, we complain all winter about how cold it is, so uh, we can't complain in the summer about the heat. I mean, come on, we got to pick one or the other, right? <laughs> but anyway, today I got a, a package come in from uh, <clears throat> none other than uh, <laughs> Mr. Paul Springett over in Australia. And uh, this is actually the second time trying to film this video because on my other camera when I was filming it cut out about three or four times and I am still not quite sure why it could just be uh, could be the heat um, could be uh, too much data on my phone but I have no idea I'm gonna figure that out later really anxious to get this package opening so uh, decided just to take out the old phone and uh, and start over with that I didn't get through the whole thing so um, you'll be getting my true reaction on some stuff, but like I said, some stuff I've already seen. So I'll start with what I've already opened. Um, starting with this stuff here, which is really, really cool. Um, brand new. And I'm not sure if you guys remember, I, I said that I, uh, I want to start collecting uh, lock sets from around the world and make, uh, you know, when you see in a locksmith shop, you see like the mock-ups of, uh, or displays of their locks. I want to kind of do that, but with uh, with all the different types of cylinders that uh, that we see, Euro, um, oval, 570 oval, um, Scandinavian oval, mortise, you know, all the main cylinders. So this is a lever set for a Euro cylinder, which is awesome. I never uh, never thought I'd be able to get one of these. Actually, this is the cylinder that uh, that came with it. Um, Actually, probably a bunch of Europeans are screaming at me. Turn it the other way. <laughs> and uh, you can see here, get throw the bolt. And take it back in. Uh, the only thing I'm kind of confused about is... i take this cylinder out. Wow, this camera has a really different field of view. Um, the only thing I'm confused about is... Here's the spindle, I guess. I'm not sure which way this goes on because, and Paul, you have to let me know, that would cover the euro, or the the hole, and this would almost get you by, but it does cover it a little bit. So I don't know if this is intended to be drilled, um, because it does come with a template, but I assume the template was just for the door. Kind of curious about that, Paul. You'll have to let me know, buddy. Here's the the template that comes with it. So I guess they uh, they want you to drill uh, two holes here and probably connect it with a jigsaw, and then you have like a um, what do they call it? Uh, bezel that would probably go over it. But anyway, that is just awesome. I really. Uh, really really love stuff like this that that alone made, made the package right there Paul <laughs> and the second thing I opened was this guy here and this is just awesome um, extremely excited about this um, as you know I'm uh, I'm guessing most of you guys know I'm working towards becoming a locksmith probably still a long way to go but it's in my you know what I mean uh, three to five year plan. Um, working on a resume right now and kind of sending out feelers in the couple places we have in town. But uh, this is a bunch of locksmith liter literature. Um, right off the bat we have a master keying course which is pretty cool because I've been doing a lot of master keying in the building here. I can get through it but I'm sure there's a uh, uh, faster, more professional way to do it. 
make sure you don't have an easier way to make sure you don't have uh, keys operating locks that they're not supposed to. So next, what do we have? Oh, this is just awesome because I'm getting an SNG uh, safe lock soon. It's actually on the way. Um, instructions for operating and changing combination locks, as in uh, safe locks. So that is really, really cool. I'm extremely happy about that. Change, uh, change instructions there. I got to get uh, one of these guys soon. A change key didn't come with it. Um, uh, this is really cool too. Servicing. When I first looked at this, I thought uh, I'm gonna definitely pass this on to uh, or tell Potty about some of the stuff that's in here. But uh, it's not for. Again, it's for safe locks. It's not for normal uh, combination locks. I remember one time when I. Uh, I have a locksmith buddy in town. He lent me his uh, Foley bell saw course, and uh, once Potty seen the combination lock section, he was really interested. But it just tells you how they work and where to drill them, and kind of stupid, really. I don't know why you would drill a combo lock. This is really interesting. Uh, Fco Quabacatro, <laughs> Fco Cabacuatro. I never knew Fco made. Uh, Kaba, or I, I have no idea, but that's this is going to be really interesting. I'm not going to dig too deep into each section there, but uh, this is awesome. Medico uh, technical service manual, going to love that section. Just a uh, quick go over here. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this might be. Uh, from the MLA Master Locksmith Association um, Master Keying Principles again they're going to be very useful for me um, Lockwood Cylinder Mortise Locks again that's going to be pretty cool and what else do we have here if I can find the next tab um, I think that's probably it that, so that is just awesome. Um, Paul, I can't thank you enough. I know I said it probably a thousand times, but thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You'll probably hear it another thousand. And uh, so that's all I got the chance to open before my camera failed on me. So I never, never even looked at this next stuff. But we have a big bag here. Of uh, keys, I'm guessing. I'm gonna go through this one by one. Oh, there we have. Uh, what do they actually call this? Yeah, it's an ex ex excursion. Excursion. I do have a couple of these, but this one's brand brand spanking new. That'll be awesome for my display once I uh, once I finally get like an nice thick chunk of wood which is actually it's hard to find here hard to find a lot of stuff in this little town here oh what do we got here some different key blanks that I'm not familiar with oh it looks like a bit of a mix there are two different two different ones I have to say, this camera is pretty good at focusing, it just doesn't have very good, uh, what's it called, uh, exposure. So LW21R, it's a reverse. So it looks like it's just a reverse of the, uh, damn, I forget the, the keyway. LW5R? And I'm looking, there's a letter right here. And I'm going to read quickly. Hope the contents help you forward in your locksmith journey. Padlocks. Ooh, interesting. I skip over that. The LW21R is a better profile for your V7, as is the L. 
W5R IV7. Uh, my V7 is locked up right now, but let's check it out. I built this uh, little stand, by the way, guys. Really, one of the easy ways I know to build a stand. Just uh, see if I can do this. Let the camera balanced. Four pieces of wood, or two pieces of wood, just uh, kind of slotted together like that. Anyway. Sure, it's going to need a bit of modification, but where is my... There it is, V7. Yeah, I could see how that would work a bit better. And this guy... Oops. Need a bit off the bottom. And we have... Oh wow, you can see how that would work great in there. Maybe it's this keyway that uh, that he's talking about. Yeah, probably so. The other uh, the Lockwood Oval that I have, I used a a uh, Corbin blank modified, of course. So that's cool. Always use blanks. Oh, we another another uh, discussion. Another discussion. <laughs> awesome. You got me thinking. I might uh, might use these to make a better uh, display in my cabinet there. Oh, awesome. These are uh, space and depth keys for uh, my little Lockwood padlock. is right here. Awesome lock. It might not be on that, uh, let's see, yeah, might not be on that keyway, or I'm just, oh yeah it is, I'm just <laughs> looking through the camera. Awesome beauty. Might, uh, might pin that up. Oops. 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 So that's cool. Thanks for that, Paul. And uh, like I said, this package couldn't have came at a better time because I'm getting down to the bottom of the barrel on, uh, on uh, both stuff to make videos on and uh, locks to pick. So this is just great. So I'm going to put all this away while I am thinking about it. And what do we have next? Again, stuff that I have not opened yet. I think I'm going to go from heaviest, or lightest to heaviest rather. And these are like the same weight so I'll open the smaller one first. Oh no way! An ABUS! Sweet! Maybe another candidate for, uh, no way. Paul, buddy, you're a friggin' mind reader. <laughs> Either that or, uh, you've been seeing comments that I put in or something, I don't know. I think I've been leaving a few comments here and there. Um, I really wanted a closed shackle padlock that I could put a high security kick into. And since I have those kick uh, kick adapter kits, oh man, you have no idea how awesome this is. Oh, cool. 
That's a neat key with the, uh, I don't know what you call that. Pretty good bidding, too. That is a sweet lock. Man, Paul, you, <laughs> you really outdid yourself again. I think I'm going to put, hmm, either, hmm, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in here. Well, one of three things, either my uh, CX-5 that's already in my, um, where is it? Oh, right here. That's already in my other non-closed shackle, 83. Or, um, uh, Schlage Primus. Or perhaps, um, and I, yeah, I could even put, um, an Abloy in there if I wanted to. So yeah, let me give me something to think about there. That is just awesome. Man, thank you so much, Paul. Um, I'm slowly working on your picks, and, and don't worry, they're going to get out to you soon. <laughs> Try to make a few extra ones for you, buddy. Oh, sweet. Uh, this one has the Z-Bar. I'll probably make it key retaining too. That is just awesome. That's one of the nicest closed shackle padlocks I have. I only have two of them. That one and this one. Anyway, um, up next to this guy right here. I'll put this other this away. Where's my scissors? What could this be now? Another Abus. Jeez. So maybe all my uh, high security kicks will have uh, nice homes. <laughs> wow, these scissors are kind of dull. There we go. What Abus do we have here? Same thing. <laughs> awesome. 8 over 10. Man, that's a nice brand new lock. Wow. Z-bar. Is your bidding? Oh man, these are beautiful. Six pin from the factory, that's nice to see. Wow. I'm uh, speechless. Literally. I wonder what this uh, last one can be. I'll do that. I'll do that after. Um, last, but I'm sure certainly not least. some of this stuff aside uh, oh man I see uh, I see red a red box and if this is what I think it is yes yeah, sir no way this is something I never thought I would really get Wow, 25 year mechanical warranty, that is something else. That's That says something about a lock manufacturer when they can offer 25 years, uh, 25 year warranty. It's a pretty big deal, if you ask me. I really don't want to mess up the, the box on this one. Oh, wow. Yeah, I never thought I would be able to get one of these. 334B45. That's a bit of a longer shackle, but that's cool. That's awesome. Man, that is nice. I love their packaging. Let 
Man, I'm speechless, Paul. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh. Oh, I just realized how much I'm rambling on 20 minute video, but the least I could do is give this uh, stuff the time it deserves. Wow. I wonder if this box is uh, resealable or if you have to damage it to open it. Either way, it's going to be open, so I just want to be careful if it's resealable. There we go. Wow, holy crap, dude. Pretty sure I remember uh, remember Paul saying, correct me if I'm wrong, Paul, but I'm pretty sure I, I heard you say that you actually don't stock these at your shop, but uh, if someone wants one, you, you might order them for him or whatever. You must have more Abus stuff, I'm guessing. Okay, so it is kind of sealed, but... I don't want to screw this up. I suppose I could just fast forward through this when I uh, edit the video. Come on, buddy. Sorry about this, guys. Wow, we. Oh, I love the the thickness of the body and the shackle. It's nice and chunky. One, two, three, four, five. That could be fixed, though. I got lots of uh, blanks here. Wow. Ball bearing, of course. Now that is a beauty of a lock. Lockwood ASAP, boy. Wow. That's going to have a proud spot in my collection for sure. <laughs> Man, I don't know what to say. And I got to wrap this video up too, 22 minutes long. 23. But, uh,. Yeah, Paul, like I said, um, thank you so much, my friend. Um, let me see, uh, I'm going to see what else I could uh, throw in a package to you. Um, I've seen that you might be interested in having a interchangeable core lock. Um, I got one here with your name on it, if you want it. Uh, it doesn't have a hosing, but it has both operating and control key, and it's a Corbin Russ one, really nice lock. If you want that. I know there's not much else you you want for locks, since you're a locksmith, but if you want that IC, no problem, buddy. Let me know. Anything else I can help you out with, don't be shy to ask, my friend. <laughs> it's the least I can do. Man, I really like these. I really, really like uh, closed shackle pad locks. Really, really love them. They're awesome. <laughs> and this is, wow, beautiful. Really nice, chunky lock. Well, guys, I gotta sign off. Um, I I thank you guys who uh, have stuck with me through the through the whole video. Um, and you can look forward to seeing some of these locks picked. That's for sure. Probably this one might be the next video. And uh, as always, guys, don't give lock pickers a bad name. Don't pick a lock that you don't own or have permission to pick. And uh, thank you guys. See you in the next one. Paul, thanks again, brother. Take care.